I don't need to revitalize nothing. Everybody know who I am. Um, I really, I was thinking that we can't go out like this. Uh, we've had too many, too many close losses to a lot of good teams. So to be down by, I hate to say, by the worst team by seven with that much time left, uh, it was kind of like, it was kind of like sad to see. But uh, we really pushed through. Uh, they kept missing free throws, so we were just capitalizing on it. Uh, I feel great. I mean, the work I put in with Keon, I mean, I know even a bad game, I'll still have confidence to go out there and, uh, and try to lead my team. Uh, I'm just leaving it all on the floor, uh, just trying to get to the playoffs, MVP. I'm just, I'm just trying to leave it all on the floor. You know, we got a lot of strong guards that can hold their ground and that jump really well. You know, like Tristan Wilson, um, he's great for us inside. Desi Barrymore is great for us inside. And we just run with it, you know what I mean? We just do what we need to do, we make it happen. So we like to move the ball around, we hit shots, we do what we need to do. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie and say it's not. It's a concern, you know, Coach Carroll hit on that all the time. The past three games, we've been up 20, and then we let teams come right back. Or we be up 16, we let teams come right back. And we keep saying, you know, being me, being in three straight Final Fours and winning the championship two years ago, I know that if we don't close games out, teams could come back. And COA is a team, we, that's basically it's a rematch for us at the championship game. We played them in 2014 in the championship game. It was a good one. So with that, we beat on that in practice a lot. When we do practice, being up by like seven with 30 seconds left, learning how to close games out. And, you know, and Coach Cav keep hitting on it and keep hitting on it. So hopefully going into the playoffs, we get it right. Well, we're going to miss a lot with Eugene. You know, uh, he's probably going to wind up being the MVP. If not him and Van Man co-MVP, but... Uh, you know, I think replacing Eugene with Stan give us a little bit more, uh, you know, a athletic athletic ability on the wing. It makes us smaller, but it just gives us a little bit more quickness, and so we just gonna have to spread the paint and uh, dry the ball a lot because we're gonna miss Eugene. You know, everything Eugene bring to us, that's what we're gonna miss. The inside, you know, the efficiency. You know, just being on start, nobody in this league could stop him, and so we're gonna miss that. So we just gotta do a better job of you know, playing, playing the game the way it's supposed to be played. Well, it's just a rebuilding process, and hey, you know, we just go in and pray for the best. I mean, we in, we in. You play hard, you work hard, work at it, and you get the results. So uh, we played kind of off the first couple of games. We had to get in the groove, but we got it going late. But it may be good enough, maybe not good enough. So all we can do is just wait. Uh, we just trying to we just try to come out and get the win today. You know what I mean? End the season on a high note. Try to control what we can control, and uh, we did that today. Uh, we feel good about uh, the direction we're going in the Drew League. Uh, me and Larry Gordon coming over mid-season next year. We're gonna start the season with no snacks. We're gonna have Darren Collison. We're gonna pick up some other pieces from guys from the Inland Empire, and we're gonna try to build something for this Drew League. Nah, this this the Drew League, man. Uh, man, anybody could show up any day. And, and beat anybody. So it's, it's not a matter of who we playing. We just got to show up and play our game and, and just take it from there. Uh, I feel like uh, we just had our players come through in the clutch today. Like Chris, he had that big three. And then um, as a team, we know how to get some stops. Like me, Mikey, Chris, all of us like know how to get some stops. And then we pulled it through at the end. Do you feel like you are the MVP of the Drew League this season? Uh, I believe so. I mean, we didn't start off the season uh, on a good note, we was 0-3, and then uh, we pulled out four games out of five. So um, it's all about winning for me. So if I'm able to get the MVP, that, that makes it even better. Coming with the Blazers, I do feel like I'm myself. You know, Coach Rod let me play basketball, you know, not putting a lot of pressure on me with doing all the extra stuff. But um, he just let me go out there and make plays, and um, it's working out. It's working out for us. No, man, I thought I... I grabbed 20 before, he grabbed 29, that was amazing. But when he walked in the gym today, man, I told him, I hugged him and told him, I know you play big games, big, big, big and big games. So I was expecting him to have one of them. And he got on me about my performance last week and told me he wanted 30. I didn't know it was gonna happen, but it happened. I challenged him before the game. I'm gonna say 50, big 50, you feel me? Because we needed him. And, you know, last week I feel, you know, uh, you know, we had a sluggish game. I tested him. He tested me. He knew I was coming to play. We wasn't worrying about losing. We were just worrying how we were going to play. And, uh, you know, we keep playing like this, you know what I'm saying, playing unselfish basketball, playing Watts basketball. Ain't nobody can mess with us in the playoffs. So with this win, you guys are officially the number five seed in the division. You're going to play COA in round one. It's another team with big bodies, but you've done great against pros like JaVale McGee, Andre Drummond. 
So I ask both of y'all, how do y'all expect to come out against COA Saturday? We owe them one. That's it. We owe them one. Uh, I feel like I matured, um, especially to the situation in the game. Because especially with my team, um, not having any pros right now, um, I learned a lot from them just in that one or two games that they were here. So I just realized that um, I got I to gotta take over sometimes and the guys really trust me. Uh, you just gotta, cause you gotta pick up his scraps. You gotta pick up 30 points, and how he get off, and how he set the tone. He set the tone for us. Once he's going, we got energy. We up. You know what I mean? Cause you know, Johnny can get off anytime he wants to. So once we got the ball in his hands, we know it's gonna go in 99% of the time. But when he's not here, you know, we gotta step up. The bench players, I do. You know what I mean? That's what Keon told me today. You know, I gotta step up. You know, we missing them. So that's my job. I'm the captain of the team, and I gotta pick my players up. I think we finished the season um, wonderful, to be honest, because, you know, it's my third year in the Drew. The first year I played, it wasn't all that good. Second year, you know, we started going up. But then, you know, once you start knocking people, you know, that want to leave, you, you can't really, you know, you can't say nothing much. You just add on add on new people to the to the team, you know, build that team chemistry, and that's what we did. So I think we actually finished wonderful, personally, being my third year in the Drew and one of the youngest cats out here.